What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 7, this is episode 43, am I right? As you guys remember, may remember from where I'm standing uh, At across there is the two refineries that's currently producing smokeless black powder uh, At the moment there is no what do you call it there's no residual heavy residue heavy oil residue in the pipeline i have an idea how to fix it also let me put this out there quick apologies to you guys who was expecting an episode last week i had a really busy week last week irl uh had some stuff to deal with and then had the time to record and edit the episode for last week so yeah i did notify you guys on twitter if you guys didn't see that <laughs> so any time i miss an episode i'd most likely let you guys know on twitter if that week is gonna have an episode or not most likely if you don't see me say anything about the episode the episode for that week that means it's most likely gonna have an episode if i did say anything okay i just confused myself <laughs> if i did say anything most likely it's because it doesn't it's not gonna have an episode because normally i don't see something when it's not an episode i just so the idea is here to okay no I shouldn't do that let's see it's the heavier residue is making its way down there see how long it takes to get there but it has to fill up the pipes on its way there and heavier residue it's freaking annoying when it comes to flow rate and stuff so right now the FEO residue has just reached the little lip across here it hasn't even entered that pipe yet it has to fill up this pipe before it enters that pipe and that's the downside of half and them like going over each other I could fix that simply by raising the fuel up so that the heavy oil residue doesn't have to go up. Uh, which is what I think I'm gonna do a quick fix on that, raise the fuel pipe higher. Because fuel is lighter than heavy oil residue. So let's disconnect this. Okay, so what we're gonna do here quickly go into logistics, mark two pipes, get the fuel pipeline, or we're gonna raise it up. And then put it down right here. And that gives a little gap here where we can run the heavier residue under instead of having to go for the fuel line. see that already started pelting the heavier residue down the line because it's lower so let's see it should only start backing up down the line by the base that we were at just now um
Okay, I see some heavy residue in these pipes here. Yeah. Has some fluorite. So if all is flowing all the way down here, it should start building up right on this pipe here. But it hasn't started yet. Um, why don't I bring that pump a little ways down to this point just before the incline? That makes much more sense. So it gets the full... Push up. Alright, I still may do the change that I was talking about with the FUI residue. Hmm. Let me jump in the uh, hyper tube here to get back to base. As you can see, I did have to add a bit more storage for plastics and rubber so that it won't back up and stop the heavy urges due for me to produce. Most of those crates are full. So, the idea is I am currently pulling from the end of the line here, which means the if you ever do when it gets here, it's, it's these two refineries here it takes from that batch and turns it into um, fuel, which these take more. I think these takes much cubic meters 6 cubic meters so that's 12 cubic meters per minute out of the line that we need to go down there so if I was to separate a, a line that's only going to send its every other residue down the line to the uh, to be turned into the smokeless back powder that might work so first we have to calculate how much uh, refineries we have that is producing every year residue. We have these two here, so that's two, four, six, eight. Uh, we can put four on, four for the, yeah, we can do like that, have four going to the fuel and four going to the Okay, so these four the N are already connected to each other, I presume. Yeah, these four the N are already connected to each other, and then... Whoa. Then that's flowing up to join the other four up here. So instead of connecting that to here, and bring it across to connect to these four. I can separate it right here. And reconnect it. Add to that.
connection from the main hub across to the explosive factory. It is on the second floor. So the reason why I pull it out a little in this case is so that it doesn't interfere with the other ones. Should be a connection right here. Need to put lights in here. That's going to be the one that's going to the explosive factory. That one is the one that's going to the quartz mine. And that one is going to the Ethereum factory. Let me add another floor to that piece. Um, I'm just not. I need to go get fuel. But I'll do that later. Let's go to the Let's see, I have the rubber on me. I don't have the my the fabric on me yet. And that can't be automated. I need some plastics. Let's go put the plastics and the rubber in the oh, wrong way. There. Wrong way. I need to get the plastics. Let's just back this way in one of these containers. Ow. Thank you. I have the rubber already. Just remember. Drop this into the hub. Research quick. Well, I have to get the MSCO first. A fabric which is made from. How much do I need? 50? Oh, I only have enough to make 30. It looks like I am half. I would have to make another adventure into the cave to make to get some more wait no I'm actually not out of that I'm out of biomass it's weird could make biomass from it because I okay Should have enough to make a bunch of biomass. Okay, that should be enough. There we go, we had enough trees. That's a complicated procedure. For the six, for the seven, for the eight, and that's fifty, that's make just a little extra. Guess you have to research something, but oh where is And now we have a gas mask. And filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas based hazardous environments. Fix it bye. Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. I tend to do that. Uh, so, from last couple of episodes, we will go in on the research line of. Oh, we did do my city of fabrics. Oh, no. Could have got a parachute, but we have a jetpack, so we don't really need that right now. Expanded tooth belt. Ew. Harvest. 
So it's going on the line of quartz and uh, was it quartz? No, it was sulfur. It's going on the research tree line of sulfur to get to the, the classic nuclear uh, detonators and explosive rebound stuff. So right now we are Harvest. we are currently saving up for the explosive rebound. We do have the rebound gun unlocked. I do not have rebound automated. So Your what we're gonna do you to this as soon as this game decides to stop shouting in my ears We're gonna do this episode. We're gonna see if we can automate Reba and get it automated so that we can use some of it to in turn make explosive Reba and to unlock explosive Reba. So let's see what we need to make that if we can automate it and where we're gonna put that factory. Hello, this is Patrol Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Okay, so iron rebar takes iron rods. Okay, so now that, that's pretty simple to automate. So we just had to build a simple iron factory. Okay. I did. All right. I did find another iron source. Where was it? Where was it? I think it was up. Was it up in up there? Let me check right here. No button. Is one three hundred that way? No. Those there is what we're using, and there was one, it's probably that one across there, if we're gonna do rebar, I wanted to be close and not that far. There was also one down by the courts, where the courts um, hyper chip connection is dropping us off, so it would be a good idea to build it down there, that's way away from the base part. We do already have a hyper tube connection there, so we can get there easy. It's a good idea. So let's just go down there and set up that factory, get into a quick build montage. While we build that factory, that's going to be this one here. So this is going to be our weapons factory and cool quartz mine chip connection this is going to be the furthest actual actual factory from the base i think yeah because the other things that are far from the base are only extractors not factories Usual slow mode when I'm going up a hill. Still slightly faster than walking. If you calculate in the amount of time it'll take me to even walk this far. It drops us off right here. Next to the oil pipeline. And George and his buddies are crushed, just sitting doing nothing. And there's our iron nodes. So we have one. What's the quartz train? Quartz and sulfur train. One, two, three. Four iron nodes up here that we can utilize. That's why I say we can actually build a, a decent factory on this side. Let's mm. set up the factory across here. Do I have. I didn't pick up any explosives. Okay, well, let's. Chop some. Chop some trees down, get some biomass that we can use to make. Now that we have a use for biomass other than powering biomass burners, 
can use it to make gas uh, explosives. Um, I do have explosives on me. What the frick? I just don't have the detonator and equip. It's weird. Also be let's just give this three one. Should be good enough for the boom. Okay, so this is the area we're gonna build the factory. Let's get into a quick build montage as we build our new weapons factory. in a couple of episodes to come uh yeah that's gonna be it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more satisfactory let's play series uh we'll be continuing this until we possibly unlock everything in the game so this series is gonna go on for a good while and not only unlock everything, we are going to try to automate every single thing inside of the game that is fully automated. Uh, as of right now, we are just unlocking, currently going down the sulfur tree in the mam, where we're getting the weapons and stuff. So this is the start of our weapons factory where we're going to be producing rebar. Right now we are producing rebar. Um, we are a bit far from the base, as you guys saw while I had to take the hypertube connection down there. We are just between the quartz mine, which is up on that hill up there, and the oil uh, extraction area, which is down there. And right around that corner, there's the oil extraction area, and that's the oil pipe running back to the main base, and the train for the quartz going back down there yeah so guys new to the channel don't forget to drop a like hit that subscribe click on the bell icon to get notified when i release satisfactory videos satisfactory videos are released every saturdays unfortunately last saturday we didn't have any satisfactory video because i was a bit pretty busy but yeah as usual satisfactory videos are released every saturdays at 10 a.m est it is obviously pre-recorded normally on wednesdays and patrons get access around the same time i edit the episode so if you guys want to get early access to the episode and see the full discussion during the bill montage session feel free to support the channel on patreon that would be greatly appreciated anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace <laughs>